Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorial series. In the previous video tutorial, we have understood that CSS provides various types of selectors so that we can be able to get more control over selection of HTML elements and apply styles on them efficiently. In this video tutorial, I am going to discuss one of the simplest type of selector which is tag selector. To select tags by their name and apply styles on them, we use tag selector. We know the syntax of CSS rule set. That is, we write a selector. It may be any selector, tag selector, class selector, id selector, anything. In flower brackets, we put declaration list. To implement tag selector, in place of selector, we write tag name. You can see the syntax of selector with respect to this line. In place of selector, we write a tag name. It might be any tag name. In flower brackets, we put declaration list. Now what actually tag selector does? It selects every HTML tag with a specified tag name and applies styles on them. Simple. Example for tag selector is, you can see I have written here p tag. This is the name of a paragraph tag, right? p tag. In flower brackets, I have written declaration list. It selects every p tag available on the page and applies styles on them. Let's see the demonstration. I minimize it. I go to start, type here notepad. I click on notepad. Then I write here typical HTML5 document structure. So less than exclamation mark, doc type HTML, opening HTML, lang equal to en, closing HTML tag, then opening head tag, closing head tag, opening body tag, closing body tag. In the head section, I am going to put meta care set equal to utf8 close. I save the file, file, save as. I save the file at desktop with the name default.html. Both sides I put double quotation and click on save button. Minimize it. You can see that default.html page got created. I right click on it, open with the Firefox. You can see here default.html page got open. Title I need to set. So I go back to default.html page. Here, I am going to set the title. So title is going to be tag selector demo closing title file save go to browser and refresh. You can see that title is set to tag selector demo. It is very simple. Next what I do is I am going to create some paragraphs here. So opening p tag closing p tag. Here I have a content you can see I am going to copy this content and paste it in between paragraph tags file, save, go to browser and refresh. This is how the paragraph looks. I'm going to create one more paragraph. So opening p tag, closing p tag. And here in between these two paragraphs, I am going to select the CSS content, copy that and paste it in between these two paragraphs. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see another paragraph also got displayed. Now I am going to demonstrate the tag selector. In between the head tag, I am writing here style type equal to text or CSS. Then I say here closing style tag. And here I tell to the browser, locate every paragraph tag in the current page. Okay. Apply these styles. First style I am going to apply is the color. Color of the text should be green semicolon. File save. Now what browser does is it locates every paragraph in the current page and applies the color green to the text. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see now the text of every paragraph has the color green. Similarly, I can say here font dash size of maybe 14 pt semicolon. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see font size increased for every paragraph. If I want, I can set the border also. B-O-R-D-E-R border of 2 pixel solid red color semicolon. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see every paragraph has the border also. That is how we use tag selector friends. For example, I am going to create one heading here. H3 HTML colon closing H3. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see the heading got displayed HTML colon. This is not getting affected by whatever the styles we have written here because we have told to the browser that locate every paragraph and apply these styles on them. We have not told locate h3 tag and apply some style. 
Similarly, for this also I am going to write here h3 and here I write css colon closing h3 file save go to browser and refresh css colon got displayed here. This is also not getting affected, right? So I am going to tell to the browser locate every h3 tag in the current page and apply styles on it also. For example, I say color is going to be blue semicolon file save go to browser and refresh you can see text color of every h3 is now blue similarly i can say here border of two pixel dotted green semicolon file save go to browser and refresh you can see dotted border is placed around every h3 element that is all about tag selector friends hope you guys have understood tag selector to select tags by their name and apply styles on them we use tag selector in place of the selector, we write the tag name. It selects every HTML tag with a specified tag name and applies styles on them. For this tutorial, this much is enough friends. For more benefits and be updated, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.